Momo and Okaru, they, the chemistry that they have, the way that they collaborated, and I think Momo was so cool last episode. Okaru definitely, you know, was literally holding his own weight and just running around and stuff like that. But Momo's ability to like think on the spot and like use your, you know, psychic powers to, you know, pivot around areas. The genius to latch onto the train and then to basically have Turbo Baba follow us to the zone where our Baba is going to happen. Like that was pretty sick. The entire episode was just peak cinema. The amount of detail animation going, it's just crazy. Turbo Baba even had like a quite the sentimental closure as the reason why she was going for those weenies, right? It wasn't just for shock value, it's that she was mending to the souls of these, you know, girls who were just done wrong in the past. And, you know, there's a lot of graping involved, I guess. And the whole taking the weenie part is to kind of, you know, just punish those people who could have done those acts. Now, I wonder how the aliens, you know, how they always said, I want your bananas and how Turbo Baba and like the limited amount of supernatural we've seen wants our weenies. I thought there was like a connection between aliens and spirits and their like desire to get reproductive organs from humans and how that kind of relates to episode two, where the sumo guy who is also an alien, but was warded off with that talisman that was supposed to be for Supernatural. I thought there was some sort of link there, but with now this closure Turbo Baba story, I'm not too sure, but hey, we're starting a new arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, Karen, what you doing hiding? Yo, his hairstyle though, he's keeping that new hairstyle. He practiced? <laughs> He practiced saying oh hi. It's gonna be the wrong girl. It's not her. It's not Moa. He's gonna say her. He's gonna say fucking oh hi to the wrong girl, bro. No? Oh shit, she's waiting for him, maybe? Hello? Yo. Would she? Are we getting baited? <sighs> I mean. After these, like, you know, couple episodes, I feel like we've definitely bonded. We honestly had, like, family dinner, right? We ate the crab and everything with Granny. I feel like some level of, you know, intimacy has been established. There was a moment last episode where Momo says, trust me, as we were about to use the last, you know, transformation for Okarun. And there was, like, a, I think that was, like, a really significant moment where Okarun, like, takes a moment to kind of pause and looks at Momo and be like, you know what? I will trust you. I feel like that solidifies the relationship. It's you, man. Surely we're not getting baited. Surely. <laughs> Don't ghost her, bro. What the fuck are you doing? The correct answer is to ignore her? Maybe she likes it. I don't know. Maybe this is accidental Riz where you're playing hard to get, you know, subconsciously. He's not intentionally doing it. He's just fucking embarrassed and cringe. So he's just ignoring her. Maybe she thinks that, damn. He treated me wrong. Damn, I like bad boys. I don't know, would Momo be like that? Oh, she's blushing too. You see that little blush there? Here we go, lock in. Like, where are you balls? Is that a sub error? Is it supposed to be like, where are your balls? Or is it intentional, you balls? <laughs> it's a sausage fest. They probably eat your bananas. <laughs> Unfortunate that we're not in the same class, but it is ours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fuck? You bumped into us, asshole? I guess not so much has changed with the treatment of Okaran in his own class, but damn, that's fucking cold, man. People that actually fucking mean at school, like, Jesus Christ, he's just chilling. He just intentionally bumps in, like, God, and then he gets comboed. It's a fucking two-piece combo. It's, like, set up from the guy and the fucking girl, man. <laughs> Jesus. I can forgive them. Aww. I thought that he was gonna go some like cringe way of like <laughs> because I knew of the occult and stuff like that. But no, it's stemming from I have a friend, so they don't matter. That's actually a good mindset. <laughs> Bruh. 
Oh, fuck them. Stop forgiving them. Turn into Turbo Baba in here right now. I'm almost thinking about Okaran, I think. Yo. Her power level. She's not showing her true power level today, huh? There's like no other makeup on. She was the like the most galliest gal I've ever seen in my life. It's gone right today. She think you are Okarun. Ah, she got a new man. Stop jumping to conclusions. Oh, they just want to talk to each other. It'd be nice if you could text each other right now, but she lost her phone, right? She broke her phone. She got no phone. They just... I know it's only friends right now. And the reason for they want to talk to each other is the topic of like aliens and supernatural shit. But I think they definitely are starting to realize that maybe they could love each other. Could. Oh, there we go. No, you missed each other. They don't know that name. That's your nickname. <laughs> what a description. They both missed each other. No one can hear him. She's so dominant. Bring me the boy with the fucking glasses that gets bullied. And he's like, anybody here? Please, anybody. Oh, you can't hear me, okay? Ain't nobody hearing you, bro. Turn around. Turn around. We're gonna miss each other again. Wrong place, wrong time, over and over again. God damn. Wasted entire lunch period. It's crazy how he's jumping to conclusions. It's like a fucking roller coaster. She loves me. She hates me. She loves me. But if you think about it, I think this is a very relatable high school experience. Like, dumbass teenagers with hormones coursing through, overanalyzing every little interaction to think if it's still good, if it's still bad. Yeah, I think this is very realistic. No, no. Bruh. Friend candidate. <laughs> Not even a side friend. Friend candidate. I see a heart in the sky. The soundtrack so far has been pretty whimsical and fun for the slice of life mood. Are you fucking- wait, are they gonna finally meet or will they be looking down to the ground where even if they're turning to each other, they can't see each other? Oh, oh, oh. That's a kiss. That's a kiss. That's a kiss. That's an accidental kiss. Not an indirect kiss. That's an accidental kiss. Yeah, it happened, bro. It happened. 100% it just happened. They both covered their lips instinctively. <laughs> Is it a kiss or was it teeth on teeth action? <laughs> I did hear clacking of the teeth for sure. But the lips, I feel like they could have definitely made contact. We should just skip class. Right now? Fuck it. We miss lunch together? I would totally skip class with her right now. Let's go somewhere else. Yo, skip and let's go get lunch. This is the perfect opportunity to go out somewhere on like a lunch date. Come on, let's go. Yo. 
ちょっとママそういうことなら早く言ってよそんなボンクラとキスなんかするかそうですよてめえが拒否してんじゃねえぞカルハゲボーーディーYeah, we're back to banter, but the chemistry is good. The fact that you can banter like this and still be friends, I think, really means that they have a deep bond. Has she called this Baldi before? It just feels like deja vu. Yeah, they do. Uh huh. That was not a fight, bro. That's just fucking banter. They 100% get along. 200% maybe. Where are you balls? I see. The episode title was not a spelling mistake. It's not where are your balls as in someone asking Okaren where's your balls. It's Okaren looking down at his balls and saying balls. Where did you guys go? Where are you my balls? So we got the weenie back, right? And like, so when the Turbo Granny took our weenie, I always said this. We should check down there. Is the balls down there? Is it, is it just the shaft gone? Is the entire thing gone? We got the weenie back. Where's the balls? Where the fuck the balls go? Huh? <laughs> All the girls are gathered here. All the fucking girls are gathered here. He's gonna show up. Boo boo! Where did my balls go? <laughs> bro, his pose. His fucking pose, bro. The Giga Chat himself. It's a booty call. Maybe it's a booty call. それどころじゃないんですよ。大事な話なんです。聞いてください。やだ。いきなり白馬かよ。これで可哀想じゃん。だから。長さ。あやせさん、朝はすごく話してくれたじゃないですか。なんで今は話してくれ言葉に可哀
Part of me feels like it's just a random behavior. Part of me feels like there's something else going on. Kill her. What a fucking demon, bro. Oh, that ain't my girl. Mm -mm, she ain't a sweet girl. She's a fucking demon. Can't believe I trusted you. Evil. Evil. It's fun when scum fall for you? Okarun is not scum. The only scum right now is the beholder. And maybe this is kind of funny because the girl looks traditionally more cute. You know, <laughs> uwu, right? A little docile, right? You would think that maybe she would be really kind of considerate outwards. But inside, she a fucking demon. And then there's Momo. Where Momo outwardly looks not uwu and kind and, you know, all girly girly. But inside, it's good. A little bit of parallels. <laughs> yes, he could. Maybe this is a dub. Maybe she'll remember this. Touch, maybe he'll never be touched by a cute girl like me ever again. So like, Momo will go out of her way to just start groping fucking Okaran in front of that pink haired girl, bro. Just to prove a point. Hmm. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, he, he actually funny as fuck. Okaran saying like maybe I was working out a bit was on our just actually funny. Even this, it's like he actually and the funniest part is he believes it. He he actually believes that. Oh shit, my delayed riz is now taking effect. Oh, touchy touchy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, bro. Instead of a guy falling for her, the fucking metal bath of falling on her. So I guess she's not really important. I thought that her character design meant that, like, I don't know, she's gonna be like an important side character. Maybe she still will be, right? This is just how she gets introduced and maybe she'll be better in the future. But, uh, she just got fucking dunked. Let's go, Momo. No more touchy touchy, though. I mean, the fact that you can talk about this honestly is huge. Communication is key. Damn. This is so refreshing to have high school kids be able to talk about their emotions in a rational way and get their thoughts across rather than misunderstandings happen and having an entire fucking arc towards drama. Because that's basically what Snafu is. Ooh, Snafu getting a bit of fucking stray bullets. That's right. Fuck you. You gonna cry about it? <laughs> Snafu reactions are on Patreon, by the way. Oh my god. But that entire anime is supposed to be the miscommunication, right? It, without it, there is no content. And it's unfair to compare, like, Snafu and, like, which is all about that. And Dan Dan, which is, you know, it's not all about that. It's like a very, very specific segment here that's happening, but it's nice. It's refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, boss, 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 boss. My boss. No, this is actually important. If we're gonna get married, and if you actually want kids, we're in a predicament right now, because I got no balls. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did you not know it's literally your balls? How did you, could you not know till now? I mean, it's hilarious if you think about it. <laughs> did she see his dick? Because, like, maybe his dick is. He's actually so hung. That he is just like 12 inch girth. Flaccid. Not try Girth, not length. 12 inch girth. And that's why he can't see the balls. Like, the fact that he's so hung that he couldn't even, like, realize the balls were missing because you would never see them. Because that, that's how hung he is. 
ちょっと見てみるぞ。こいつの中に何かいるぜ。あ、ボーティフスインデア。よし。じゃあ始めるぜ。人形に札つけたな。ちょっと待って。is this actually working or did you just want to hit him in the back of the head? Okay. Oh no. Something's moving? There's something inside. Yoshimomo,手伝え。オーラの色が変わった瞬間そのオーラを引っ張り出すのじゃね。異物なら取り出せるはずだ。行くぞ。集中。Where'd it go? Oh, it's talisman. It's burnt. Meaning it's good? It's who? The cat's moving. The cat's moving. The eyes, it blinked. The cat's blinking. Is it in there now? Oh. <laughs> You can feel the aura, maybe. There it is. Her powers are so good, man. The utility. She can just send shit. Hey. It talks. Very cute. Yeah, she can basically send shit. No worse shit as scan. Search. Is a fragment of Turbo Bubble in us? It's been pulled out and it's been placed in the cat now. And it's basically chilling. Similar to like a mob psycho where Dimple, before he was Dimple, it was like a scary monster cult leader, defeated him. Fragment of his soul got into a, you know, a cute little thing that's marketable. So we have Turbo Bubble back as a cute cat. She is very cute now. Yeah. Astral form. Where's my balls, though? Yeah, where my balls at, man? She's so cute. You're like a mascot. Yeah, you're literally within our domain. Like, Granny could just fuck you up right now if we just draw a circle, right? Yeah, where's my balls? Where the balls go? Huh? She's literally holding her balls hostage. <laughs> she can't die, because then Okarun's balls go bye-bye. <laughs> I can't believe her balls are held hostage! No. Nah, Okarun wouldn't do it. Wait, is he possessed? He's possessed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo. Yo, it is drift though. Your school out. Yo, what the? Look at the colors. Look at the red edges. Okay, okay. He's so cool. I bet Momo will be fine calling him Ken in this form. Okay. Baba's consciousness came out, but it, because there was another thing in there, right? Basically, this thing. Right? This is the consciousness that got separated from like the vessel and because the vessel's still in here, Okarun has those powers. Cool. Meaning you can't do shit to our balls. Like, like you, you can't do anything to us. We have you hostage, actually. We have your vessel hostage. You dumb, dumb cat turd rotten tangerine.
Yo, Baba right now just went rap god in Japanese fucking insult. Jesus Christ. Sensei. Oh. We're back. Dude, the way the little cat runs is so fucking funny. It's it's got little tiny little stubby leg. So anger triggers it. Yeah, we know why Terubaba was doing those things. Don't want to return the powers though. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Where'd you keep the balls? Somewhere? What the fuck do you mean? You left the ball somewhere. And that's the episode. You just dropped it off? It's We gotta find it a lost and found? They're gonna tell us? Did anyone lose a pair of testicles? What does it even look like? Is it the ball sack still attached? Is it just like what's in the ball? I, I don't even know. Like visually, think about it. What do you think the balls look like right now? Because there's the sack and there's the balls inside. I don't even know. I'm... Maybe it's in the fucking train lost and found. But that's today's episode of Don the Don. What happened? We kind of kissed. Momo and Okarun, their relationship is definitely getting better and better the chemistry the dynamics it is fucking peak and it's very relatable the acts that they're both doing jumping to conclusions hormones you know coursing through they're irrational they're constantly thinking does she like me does she hate me but at the end of the day you just gotta talk it out and it's nice to see that they can actually like actually communicate rather than just being passive aggressive and bottling up their feelings and trying to Assume that the other should understand exactly what they're thinking and that also leads to fucking melodramatic stupid bullshit drama and these romance drama kind of shows, but this is not that kind of show. The pink hair girl is a demon, but I feel like her design is too important for her not to matter. If we look in the opening, there are multiple characters that are seemingly important. There's another guy that we see there. Is there a girl too? I'm, I'm not sure if the pink hair girl was in the opening, but I'm just trying to figure out if she's going to be like a prominent character or maybe she's just a random NPC that does not matter for the future. Cool to see Momo just dunk on her and, you know, take care of Okaru. Now, Turbo Baba is still around. She's now a very cute little mascot. And the fact that the cat runs not on its fours, but with its legs, it's just really cute because it's all like little stubby legs and it's trying to run around. I think that we're going to be great friends. I think that this is a similar thing like we see in Mob Psycho where Dimple, right? The same example of Dimple where big bad guy turns into, you know, cute little form that says, I'm going to get you. You better watch out. I'm going to get you. But at the end of the day, we can trust him probably. And maybe she'll be like a great ally. That's it from me. If you're still here though, you enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.